Welcome back to my channel. Today it is like survival mode. I have no idea how what videos to make, so I'm just showing you our regular everyday videos. Junior is preoccupying the littlest one, Everett. I'm going to get ready to do a big batch of chicken pot pie. So my sister-in-law is expecting a little one any day now. And this is a really great recipe. Link is in the description below. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, do that too and hit the bell so you get notifications of our videos. I hear a baby. But we're doing a really big batch of chicken pot pie. Hold on. Okay, big batch of chicken pot pie. This is a really easy recipe to make a batch freezer meals with. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So my recipe makes two pies. So I'm actually doubling the recipe to make four pies. And so this will make one pie for us because we're just a family of four. One of those being a baby who's not eating right now. One pie is good for us. I'll put the other one in the freezer. And then two pies for my sister-in-law and brother-in-law's family. There's a, they are a family of four getting ready to beat three. No, they're a family of five getting ready to be a family of six. So they have three little ones um, and two of them. So they're going to probably go through two pies rather than the one. So this is a great option to... I can make the chicken pot pies even though she doesn't have the baby yet and I can freeze them and then like her church family and friends are going to bring her a, you know warm meals at night um that's a stain by the way <laughs> um but this is great for maybe when after baby comes and after the meals stop coming then she can take it out and pop it in the oven and be you know have a good warm meal at night so I'm knocking all this out today. It is really simple. You can find the recipe below, but I will try to tell you the recipe as I go along. I am just going to take lots of video and do a voiceover because that is how we keep our sanity around here. All right, I've just got some frozen chicken breasts. I've started with a sheet pan full. Normally, I only need a few breasts for the two pies, but I'm making four, obviously, so I need more. So these are just frozen chicken breasts. Normally, if I were just making it for ourselves, I would make a rotisserie chicken the night before uh, and then just use that chicken or I would just, you know, use whatever we have, but we don't have that. Since I'm making more than two, I'm going to do the sheet pan. So I'm putting chicken breasts on here. I'm going to bake them till they're done, shred them apart, and um, then we're going to get started on the rest of the filling. In the meantime, while these are in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and make the pie crust because it has to chill for a little while. And then um, the pie crust is probably the most time consuming of this entire recipe. All right, so since one of these recipes, batches, calls for a stick of butter, for the pie crust, I'm going to use two sticks of butter. Um, and I'm going to, that's a lot of butter, right? I'm going to use my stand mixer because it's going to make life a whole lot easier. So to get started, a regular crust is three cups of flour, a half a pound of butter, which is roughly one stick, and you want it to be cold, one egg, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and a half a cup of water. That's it for your pie crust. What makes this recipe really good is the pie crust. The filling is great too, but the recipe is just a rustic, gooey, crispy recipe. Uh, pie crust and it's really delicious um, it makes mix mix this chicken pot pie so I'm gonna go ahead and throw all these ingredients in and get done consistency that you want this this is more like it okay so it's thick but it's not gooey and so after you take it out you're gonna just push it all together because some of it's gonna be a little bit clumpy and then I'm gonna section this out into four circles and stick it in the refrigerator until we are ready 
ready to use it because a chilled pie crust is much easier to roll out than a warm one. Why didn't y'all correct me? I have to quadruple this pie crust recipe. I need two pie crusts. I only doubled it. I have to quadruple it. Darn it. All that is good and holy and righteous. I have four pie crusts for two pies. I need four more pie crusts for four pies. So, get in the fridge and make the next batch. So the deal is, I forgot. I forgot my own recipe. Um, the deal is that the, the, this recipe makes double the filling. Okay, it does not make double the pie crust. So I have to make double the pie crust in order to go with the filling. So what I normally do is when I make this, I only make us one pie, and um, the rest of the filling goes into a freezer bag. And then I can just make the pie crust whenever I'm ready to make it. But see, that's not what I'm doing this time. This time, I need the pie crust immediately. So the pie crust on my recipe website, it should say this. It should say that you have to double the pie crust if you're making two pies. But if it doesn't, just know that you do. So one regular recipe of the chicken pot pie makes two pies, but only one pie crust. So if you want to make two pie crusts, you have to double the recipe in the recipe. Does that make any sense at all? I really hope it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, comment below and be like, crazy fat girl, chubby girl, chubby white girl, you don't make sense. Go back to eating Oreos. Hey, and I will. So we stopped to do pee break and when we're done we will get back to the chicken pot pie. Um, the buzzer has gone off on the chicken so that's ready so I'm just going to get started on the filling and then we will start putting the pies together. But first, coffee. Because my husband's amazing and he brings me coffee in the afternoon because I'm a mom of a newborn and I need coffee. Okay, so the chicken's done. This this is like a five hour long process for me with a newborn. Chicken has been done. It's still warm, but it's cooled off. You can season your chicken. You don't have to season your chicken. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. When I'm in a bind, I don't. When I know I don't have a lot of time on my hands. So I'm just taking it and pulling it apart and dropping it in here. I might not use all of this chicken. Um, I just kind of eyeball it with however much chicken I think there should be in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, you know, little chunks like this. And then we're gonna roll out our pie crust and get her done. Yeah, that is one big old pile of pie crust. So I had this table completely cleaned off for the very reason to make this chicken pot pie today. 
This is what it looks like now. This is what I live with. All right, mom tip, wife tip, cook tip. If you have not invested in a set of these silicone mats, girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever you are, you need them. I got this set, it was a set of three. I'm gonna try to find a link for you. I use it for cookies, but I love it, especially for rolling out pie crust. So it doesn't stick to my counter, and it doesn't stick to my table. What? What, why do you always need me? quick tutorial on how to make the perfect pinched pie crust and I know my finger movements look a little bit inappropriate <laughs> when I show you without doing the pie crust as you can see but this is the perfect way to get that pie crust I learned this when working at a midnight store and I've never forgotten this tip time to wrap everything up. I ran out of freezer bags so I'm just wrapping them in plastic wrap and tin foil, putting the instructions on top and putting them in the freezer. And now the cleanup begins and that is exactly what I'm going to do. Thanks for watching. Again you can find this recipe below and tailor it to your needs. I'm going to go finish cleaning the rest of my kitchen, and I hope that you have a great day. Happy homesteading.